Why did Concorde's nose literally bow before landing? At Mach 2, Concorde needed a needle-sharp nose to slice through the air. But that same aerodynamic masterpiece, it completely blocked the pilot's view of the runway. So, engineers pulled off something radical. They made the entire nose hinge downward. Up in cruise, it stayed sleek and flush for minimum drag. But on descent, the nose drooped up to 12 and a half degrees, giving pilots a clear line of sight. It wasn't just cool to watch, it was essential for landing. Triple redundant hydraulics powered the movement. If the main system failed, backup kicked in. If that failed, gravity dropped the nose manually. And this wasn't just a gimmick, its roots went back to the Faraday Delta II, the first jet to break a thousand miles per hour. But Concorde turned it into art a complex ballet of motion and engineering. Airport crowds gathered just to watch it dip, a silent mechanical bow signaling the world's fastest passenger jet was coming home. It's a reminder that every inch of Concorde had a purpose, form and function perfectly aligned. It was beauty engineered to see through speed. So, 